It's Mina's first day of school in Virginia, but she is thinking of her old life in Afghanistan. Eight-year-old Mina and 13-year-old Faisal arrived several months ago from Kabul. Of course, the first week of the school it was hard for them because of the language and new place, new people. They are trying to adjust and and the learning so fast English, especially Mina. She's very engaged in the class. Yes, Mina. Chair. A chair. Yeah. Thinking about a chair. Yes, Sophia. For Faisal, it's a little hard because he is in seventh grade. They're living with their aunt Farishta in Alexandria, but their mother and father are not here with them. On 26th of August, the explosion that happened in Kabul airport uh, destroyed our family. After Kabul fell to the Taliban, Mina, Faisal, and their older brother Masi went with their parents to Hamid Karzai International Airport, hoping to find seats on an evacuation flight. At one of the gates, a suicide bomber was waiting. Eventually, my oldest uh, nephew, Masi, who is 15 years old, he called me and he said that there was an explosion at Kabul airport and he couldn't find his family. And the phone went dead. In the chaos, the youngest children were separated from the rest of the family. But they weren't alone. The family's neighbor, Imran, had gone to the airport with them to help them carry their belongings. <laughs> Mina and Faisal's mother, Zakia, was killed in the blast. Their father, Wali, was wounded. Imran knew he had to act quickly. Not wanting them to be alone, Imran told the soldiers he was their older brother. Soon after, they were sent to Germany and then to the U.S., where the children continued receiving treatment for their injuries at Walter Reed. Here, Farishta was finally able to see them. I was so excited and happy, and also I was so sad because the first question they asked me, it was about their mothers. They were asking, Aunt, why our mother is not talking to us, where our mother is. So that was so hard to... Uh, I couldn't tell anything to them. With their father and older brother in hiding, afraid the Taliban will come for them, it was up to Farishta to break the news that their mother was gone. Our decision was that their dad will come and then we will tell them. But as uh, this takes so longer, and then I convince uh, their dad that we can keep anymore this we have to tell and also I talked with so many um, professional counselor as well and they also advised us that we should talk to them it was so hard for me that to keep this from them but now I'm happy that they knew about this <laughs> Mina and Faisal don't know when they'll see their father or brother again. 
For now, they can only talk to them over the phone. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. As she waits for her brother, Farishta tries to give the children everything they need. But there's a hole she cannot fill. Thank you. During the daytime, she always show me her mom's pictures, like old pictures. Uh, at nighttime, these days, she start crying till she would go to sleep. Um, of course, she's missing too much. <laughs> 